Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know that there is so much more in store for us, that God is good and all is well. I know that God is good and we are going to go to him in prayer. I know a lot of you have some things um, that you're starting to launch, that you're starting to relaunch. And um, for the sake of it being four o'clock in the morning, I am covered. Um, this is a time of prayer and we want to go to the Lord in prayer. I know it's not the, the normal thing, but um we're not here for the normal thing. We're here to focus on praying. And this is a, a image that I was given by one of the people of God as the deer pants for water. So my soul longs for you. And that's Psalms 42 and 1. And in this hour, I know that our souls, good morning, love. Our souls are panting more after God than after anything else. I know that there was a new stirring in the spirit for us to um, move forward in the things that God has stirred in us. And so we want to be praying for those things. I'm coming to encourage you in prayer that you need to build regardless of the opposition. You build it anyway. If you don't have the resources, that's okay. You build it anyway. You build it regardless because none of that matters. When God puts it on your heart, you need to build it. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it is four o'clock in the morning, but it is time to pray. I get up at three and a lot of times I see myself um, just going into a mode of prayer. And I wanted to start sharing these times of prayer with you guys to encourage you. Thank you for the hearts. I greatly appreciate it. Share with your friends on Twitter. I know it's four o'clock in the morning, but that does not matter. A lot of us are seeking the face of God. And so we will use these tools of technology, especially this periscope. Thank you so much for those hearts. Beautiful. We will use these tools, especially especially this periscope, to go into God's chambers and beseech him and go after the things that are on our hearts that he has put inside. So we need to um, beseech the Father, make our petitions made known to him, and he'll give us the desires of our hearts, especially when he's put them on our hearts. So we're, we're, we're going to be coming out of Nehemiah. Um, the ch the fourth chapter, the entire fourth chapter, when Nehemiah first began rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, and the whole chapter discusses um, the opposition that he came against. And the first verse starts out as, "But when Sanballat heard, when somebody else that wasn't building heard, we're gonna we're gonna we have the um, the block." ministry is on today definitely and while i'm praying there may be some that i miss y'all just block them on your end and then that's enough just block them on your end yes it is a pressing time yes we're pressing in time and we are praying god kk gail i sure appreciate you sister um in this first verse of chapter four Soon as somebody else outside of what Nehemiah and the children of Israel were doing, the, 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 the children of God, Jerusalem, outside of Jerusalem, soon as they heard, not only did they become angry, but they were great in rage. Anger was inside of them and they ridiculed the Jews, the Jews. You will see people make fun of what you're doing. You will see people get mad at what you're doing. You will see people be enraged at what you're doing. Like you don't have, what nerve do you have to build? What nerve do you have to step out in the ministry that God has put inside your heart? It does not matter who it comes from. What nerve do you have? Well, you have every nerve. And that's what we're going to uh, go and pray about. Because the enemy will come at you in every way that he possibly can. Don't worry about the resources. When you step out and start doing what God has put inside of your heart. Right. 
I guarantee you, he will show you your way. He will direct your path. We are going to God in prayer so we'll be able to better hear his voice when we are moving about our day. Not only does he give you these ideas, I have spoke before about him giving you the power to create wealth. I have spoken before about that. But I want you all to know that not only will he give you the power to create wealth, but he will also give you the direction and instructions and everything that you need. The resources, they'll come. But you have to put some faith into action and move into whatever it is that God has put inside your heart to do. So I want to encourage you in prayer to build no matter what. Build it anyway. I don't care if it's something that you stopped building 10 years ago. You stop, pick it back up. Some of you have the papers, you have the plans, you have everything all out. You, some of you even have stuff on floppy disk that you stopped doing because of opposition back in the 80s. Build it anyway. Pick those things back up. Find you a technician that can pull that stuff off that floppy disk and build that stuff back up and email it to yourself. Put it on your Google Drive. Put it on a flash drive and revisit that and let the spirit of the Lord pick up on that very idea that you still have on the inside of you. Let him stir it up and build it anyway. It does not matter what nobody think because people who are not doing what they have been told to do will always have something to say about those who are doing what God has told them to do. That is the power of obedience. Obedience comes with opposition. Obedience comes with adversity, but we're going to go before God. No matter what they say, no matter what comes, devil, we have served you. We are serving you notice that we are going to lift up our hands. We're going to praise God. We're going to work with our full armor on, and we're not going to let anything prevent us from doing what God has called us to do. So join me in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that as the gaps of being closed, Father God, in the walls of our lives. If you, as you are building the hedge of protection, Father God, around us and our families, that we too are building on earth as it already is established in heaven. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that when we see, when others are becoming angry, the standard is already set. Lord, we thank you that when we see, Lord, that others are starting to move in opposition and the enemy is using them, Lord, that we still operate in grace and love with our brothers and sisters, for they know not what they do. And we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with spirit, with strongholds, with principalities and high places, Father God. So we thank you that as we move forward, Father, and all all the things that you have designed us to do, all the things that you have purposed us to do, all the things that you have called us to do, Lord, that you would even give us the anointing to not see it, Father, to not see the opposition, but to keep moving. And when the opposition that we don't see try to partner with us, Father God, we thank Thank you in the name of Jesus that we have an increase of discernment to be able to know that help is not from God. That help is a distraction. That help is going to throw a wrench inside our spokes and stop us and make us tumble over and quite possibly hurt ourselves, have to take some time out for healing and then start back over again. We've already been through that. So God, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you that you are God of restoration. Restore the idea that is given to us years ago. Restore the idea that was given to us decades ago. Restore the idea that was given to us, Father God, in the holy name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Restore to us the idea, Father God, that you gave us for ministries, Lord, <coughs> for community um, programs, Father, for, for businesses, Father, 
for, for, for crafts and ideas for artistic abilities, Lord. Let us step out afraid. Let us step out doing it in the unknown of what the end is going to be. God, we bless you, Lord, and we thank you. The body of Christ, Father God, is being stirred. We know it and we see it because we are the body. Lord, we are the church. So we thank you, Father God. When we start acting upon your word, Lord, we know that outsiders, creation, not children, they'll become angry. We know that the demons are stirred, but Lord, we serve them notice right now in the holy name of Jesus that it does not matter whatever they think. It does not matter whatever they do. It does not matter that the hedge of protection that is around us also stirs us on the inside of us and we're moving forward. Lord, when they come together to create confusion, Lord, we rebuke and bind that spirit of confusion. Regardless, Lord, our eyes are on you, Lord, and we are looking up, Father God. We know that there's a lot of rubbish, Lord, but we will not quit. We know that there is rubbish of what it was that we was trying to build, Lord, like the walls, Father God, like the walls that were rubbish everywhere because it was knocked down like the walls father there's rubbish everywhere because of the church hurt there's rubbish everywhere because of the unexpected divorce there's rubbish everywhere father God because we fell into addiction of drugs there's rubbish everywhere father God because we misappropriated and were not righteous stewards of the finances that you gave us before God there's rubbish everywhere but God we thank you that we are reorganizing that rubbish. We are picking up the pieces, Lord, and putting them together. And that our martyr, our tar and our cement, Father God, is more, is better than the tar, martyr or cement, Father God, that we had before. Lord, we thank you. Yes, we ask you to forgive us, Lord, for looking back and not re picking it up. The rubbish, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for forgiving us that the rubbish itself, Father God, while we knew that you were still beckoning us to do what it was that you called us to do, to pick up the pieces. Father, we bless you and we thank you that you forgave us and you have thrown it into the sea of forgetfulness where we will not have to come back to you and ask you to forgive us again. Father, we bless you, Lord. Though as we are looking at the rubbish and we are picking it up, Lord, we do not quit, Lord. Put inside of us a winning spirit, Father. Face our face like flint, Lord, like flint. Stone, hard, Father God. Flint is what's used to start fire, Lord. So face our face, strong like flint, sturdy like flint, resourceful like flint, ready like flint, Lord, to do what it is that you have called us to do, that we will not quit. Though we see the plots, Lord, let us not see the plots, Lord. We see them, but we don't see them, meaning we see them, God. We know that we recognize them, God, and we know that it is a tactic of the enemy to see plots and to deter us and distract us. God, we thank you, Lord, that even in the midst of these plots that we see, Lord, that you've given us the anointing to not see it, Father, to look over it, recognize that it's there, but it does not take our attention. It does not divert us from the path that you have given us, God. So we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We know that they desire, the enemy and his demonic forces desire to kill not only us, our families, but our plans, the ideas, the anointing, the order steps, Lord. He, we know he comes to disrupt it, God, but we thank you because your work through us is not to cease. We thank you, Lord, that the standard is already set, Lord. And when our sisters, our siblings in Christ, Lord, our other brothers and sisters come, Father God, that whatever it is that they see us doing, that they too are encouraged. And it is repeated, repeated to build up the rubbish and start building, to put together the tar, to put together the martyr, to put together the sea 
entertainment and everything that is needed, but stirred with the Holy Ghost. Mixed not just with water, Lord, but the water of your word, Lord, that we will move in the wisdom that we have now, Lord, that we didn't have before. We bless you, Lord, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, Lord, Son of the living God, we thank you, Lord, that wherever our sisters and brothers come and join alongside us, Father God, that whatever it is that you have designed us to do is repeated in them in the name of Jesus. Let them see, Lord. Let them see a strategy that they can repeat. Lord, we wash in the word. We rinse in your presence and we repeat in the name of Jesus, God, son of the living God, Lord, from whatever place we turn where we may see the enemy is upon us, God, we know that according to verse 13 of Nehemiah 4, that the standard is already raised, Lord, fighters in the Holy Spirit is who we are. We put on our full armor and we're positioned, Father God, like Psalms 91 says, behind your wings only will we see with our eyes the demise of our enemies and it's not the physical enemies and people, but the demise of the demonic forces that are coming against us. We bind them in the name of Jesus. We bind rebelliousness, Father, in the name of Jesus. They may rise up in our children as we build Father God, we rot, we bind disobedience, Father, in the name of Jesus that may rise up amongst our brothers and sisters in the church, Father God, that they may get a wind of disobedience, Father, a wind of bitterness, Father. We bind all those spirits in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of jealousy in the name of Jesus. We cast them all back down to the pit of hell from which they come, God, as people align themselves right beside us, Father. We thank you, Lord, that your name in Jesus, now your name, Jesus, is lifted up, Lord, and as we build, we're lifting you up, Lord, and you are drawing all men unto us. We bless you, Father God. We honor you, and we bless you, and we thank you, Lord, because there isn't anything that you have given us to do that we cannot do because the fact that you gave us to do it, we know that your hand is mighty, your hand is strong, and and your hand is, is the hand that we need and the only hand that we require to direct us I direct our paths and set us in the way in which we should step. So God, we bless you. We bless you, Lord, as those that come in a line beside us, Father God, wherever they stand there, Lord, along the wall to build, Lord, along our plans to build, Lord, whatever their gifts are, Lord, whatever their talents are, Lord, whatever their trades are, Lord, whatever their abilities are, Lord, that you've stirred them up, Father God, that you have stirred, that they have not hidden their talents, Father God, but they they use them to invest in building with us, Lord. They use them to invest in building your kingdom, Father God. They're doing their part and our parts together are making the whole. So we bless you, God. We bless you, Lord. That the standard is already raised, Lord, and we are not to be afraid, God, according to verse 14, Nehemiah 4, that we ought to remember you, Lord, you are great and you are awesome, that we are fighting for the kingdom to win souls continually, Father, that the enemy earnestly, we remember as he comes against us earnestly, Lord, we remember you, God, and the imprint of you on our minds, God, great and terrible, Lord, and take from him courage to fight for our brethren, to fight for our sons, to fight for our daughters, to fight for our wives, to fight for our husband, and fight for our homes in the holy name of Jesus. Thank you for those hearts. Keep those hearts coming and invite your friends, because we are praying to God. We are thanking God for giving us the power to build no matter what, to build anyway. And I'm covered because we're not, I'm not on here at four o'clock in the morning to be taunted. I'm not on here at four o'clock in the morning to be, uh, to, to have you all subject against people who are looking for things, Lord, in their flesh. So I'm covered in the holy name of Jesus as God, God commanded me to be covered in the name of Jesus and our hearts as I was souls as a deer pants for water. So our soul longs for you, God. Our soul is longing for him. So we are praying to rebuild, to relaunch, to pick up the plans that we put down. 
<clears throat> 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Invite your friends. <clears throat> we are praying to pick up the plans that the Lord had put inside of us. And no matter what, to build, to build anyway. No matter what, if the resources are not there, God will find a way. God will give you the instructions and you'll be able to have the instructions to even manage the finances that you have now. You just listen and you obey and he'll give you the plan. He will start showing you things. On my own Twitter feed, I start seeing sponsored ads for things that I needed. Key things that I needed. Yes, key things that I needed. Information was coming out of nowhere. Information from sponsored ads on Facebook. Information from sponsored ads or from people on Medium. Everywhere on Flipboard, I was getting information from people from every place, Lord, using this social technology that God has built and people for us to be able to use to further move forward in the kingdom of God to be built on earth as it already is in heaven. So we are praying right now for us to continue to build, for us to build according to the Lord's plans. And we are coming out of Nehemiah 4. Right now we're moving um, past the 14th verse. There's only 23 verses, so come on and stay with me. Lord, we're in the, fourth, the 15th verse and we're praying that in the face of our yes, Yes, and Lord, our borders in the face of our enemies, a wolf and sheep clothed and Lord, that we see him. That we see him, but we don't see him. God, give us the anointing to be able to see, but don't see. See, meaning that we see you, we know you there, we, we, but we've already prayed in the name of Jesus that whatever it is that you're coming and planning and trying to do, <clears throat> that your strategy is brought to naught. Regardless to what's being said, regardless to what you do, yes, supernatural anointing, my sister, yes, that regardless to what you say, that every word that comes inside your mouth that is not lined up with the will, the ordinate, ordained steps of God, but what it is that we are building, that every word we will condemn, because that is the inheritance and the righteousness of the saints. We will condemn every single word. In Jesus' name, son of the living God, in the face of our enemies, even a wolf and sheep coded, we will not fear because God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound disciplined mind. So we will operate in love. We will operate in power. We will operate with our sound disciplined mind. And with our sound disciplined mind, we will hear with clarity the ways, the steps, the order that God has given us as we reread play plans, as we revisit plans, as we relaunch plans, or as we launch plans that were put away five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, as we revisit them, those plans are not old. Rebuke the voice of the enemy that tells you, oh, those plans are old. That'll never work today. You need to come up with some new plans. No, the very plan that the Lord has given you. Good morning. Good morning, my sister, Miss Chamber, Met Chamber. Good morning, blessed one. The plans that the Lord gave you 25 years ago or even 35 years ago are still valid right now. You may have to switch it up a little bit to get caught up with the, get the plans caught up with the technology. You're already caught up. You on Periscope or Facebook, you're caught up. You're caught up. You just need to look at those plans. Keep praying on those plans and watch the spirit of God restart in you the very thing that was in you when you wanted to do those plans when he first gave it to you before the church hurt, before the divorce, before the way with children, before the cancer, before the death of your parents, before everything, before any opposition, before any attempt that the adversary had brought to you. When you had that fire. It is still inside of you. The same spirit that brought Lazarus from the dead. We're talking about the same spirit of God that rose Jesus Christ who on whom we have power. The same spirit of God that flows throughout the earth looking for somebody that is standing in the gap. We are standing in the gap for the plans that God gave us 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Revisit those plans. You build it anyway. We're building now with more wisdom 
wisdom in the mighty name of God. Yes, stir it up, God. Y'all sisters, we got it together right now. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that every plan that you gave us, Lord, we're revisiting. We're not looking at the plans and saying, oh, well, they're not about nothing. No, God, we know that they are about something because you gave them to us, because they come from God. So, devil, we rebuke you in the holy name of Jesus, and we cut off your voice right now in the name of Jesus. We cut your voice off. Thank you for those hearts. We cut your voice off now. We don't want to hear you. We want more of God and less of you in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> we know that you being allowed to even speak to us is just God saying <clears throat> You can do it anyway. It's just God saying, you. God has to allow it in order for us to be able to even hear you. We have to have adversity or how else will we be able to get through with it? It is not an easy road. It's not an easy route. The path doesn't go just straight. The path to do what it is that God has called you to do has ups and downs, curves and turns, but it is the Lord that makes every crooked way straight. Now the walk may not be straight, but in the spirit it is the lord that makes the crooked way straight as we pick up the plans and revisit them and he orders our step we don't care what's going on in the natural god we thank you that our focus is what's going on in the spirit and we thank you lord that we realize the standard is already set we thank you, Lord, that you have already uh, built the standard, Lord, and we are seeing through it, Father. We thank you, Lord, that we do not fear. Verse 15, we thank you, Lord, that we're feeling absolutely nothing about what it is that they're doing. We, The others that are on the outside of what it is that God has called us to do, Lord. We don't care if it's a co-worker. We don't care if it's a boss. We don't care who it is, and we don't care what it is. In the holy name of Jesus, we thank you. In the holy name of Jesus, we honor you. In the holy name of Jesus, we bless you. God, we know that what it is that you called us to do is of utmost importance. We know that what it is that you called us to do in a minute, baby. I'm going to get your juice in a minute. We know that what it is that you called us to do. I done woke my four-year-old up praying, Lord. Lord, y'all, usually I'm not this stirred up in the morning, but the Spirit of God woke me up this morning and told me, you get on Periscope and you pray the things that you pray over yourself. You share those prayers. You share those prayers with the word. And you, he gave me direct steps and orders to do what it is because what I'm doing right now is a part of building what it is that God has told me to and ordained me to build. I can't speak for nobody else, but I can definitely put these prayers on here and I know that God said that it is going to help somebody. Even if the prayers are just helping the two babies that are on here right now. We are all children of God and we are blessing God right now for what it is that God has stirred on the inside of us years ago. We're picking it up. We've won our fight with cancer. We won our fight over the divorce and the separation. We won our fight over miscarriages. We won our fight over the church hurts. We won our fights. We won our fights. We've been forgiven. So we will walk in this forgiveness. We will walk in it in the holy name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, and we thank you. No, we're not interested. We're only interested in the things of God. And if I miss something that comes up, then y'all block them on your own. I'm not that moved and I'm not that worried. Because they know and they see and they can read what the headings say. That we are praying and we are building in the holy name of Jesus. So in verse 16, Lord, we thank you that when the war of building, the war of building is taking place at the same time, Father God, that we move in harmony to your spirit. We move in harmony, Father God. Thank you for standing in agreement. Thank you, Father God. San Diego, California, thank you. You're in the house. God bless you, California. You build in the demise of fear, in the face of fear, in the face of what it is that the enemy has called itself trying to put in, around you guys. You build anyway. You drive your car knowing that God has anointed you, appointed you, covered and protect you, and go wherever it is that you need to go. And don't 
be afraid. If you supposed to been going to that place down there to feed people or feed anywhere with dis disenfranchised people, Lord, if God told you to go and minister to those people anyway, don't let what happened yesterday or the day before yesterday move you. You move and you do what it is that God has called you to do a lot as long as you are within the right confines of the Lord. As long as you are in the right confinements of the law of the land, we obey the law of the land. Good morning, Apostle from PA. Good morning. You do what it is that God has called you to do. This is the enemy's, the enemy's tactics that you stop in building for whatever it is that God has called you to build. If he told you to put in an application at that place where they provide those social services, then put in the application. That promotion is still waiting for you. Don't be afraid. That promotion is there for you. And the opportunity for you to move in and do what it is that you were called to do, to even bring, uh, to even bring, yes, you write your album, to even bring whatever it is, the hope, the joy, the uh, perseverance of God that people even right now need, then you apply for the job in that place where them social services are. And don't let the enemy stop you. We are rebuilding. We are lifting up God. We are picking up the pieces. Even though the rubbish is all around us, according to Nehemiah 4, there was rubbish everywhere. Even the rubbish of bodies, even the rubbish of attacks, even the rubbish of terrorism. We picking up the pieces and we're stirring it up, picking up the pieces and stirring up our mortar with better mortar, stirring up our tar with better tar, stirring up our cements. We're not just playing water, but the water of the word. And we're moving forward in faith. That's right, KK. We are moving forward in faith. Thank you, Jesus. And verse seven, verse 16 of Nehemiah 4, we are building while the war is going on. We are at war. But Lord, we thank you that in order for us to move, Lord, in the face of leaders, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that the leaders are supporting us, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that our men and women of God, that we are moving under. Our men and women of God, that we are, we are uh, appointed under, that have rule over us, that are covering over us, Lord, that we are standing under and in agreement with, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are protecting them and stirring up their hearts to support what it is that we are building for the kingdom, that they see with the wisdom, Lord, that you have given them so that when we come to them with our plans and tell them and ask for their support, their prayer, and their blessing <coughs> to do what it is that you have called us to do. <coughs> Be it music, be it building, be it pro community programs, feeding the homeless, or, or starting uh, marketplace ministries, whatever it is that God has called you to do. When you present it before the elder, when you presenting, when you presenting before your leaders and letting them know that the leaders have the right mind to see how this will benefit the ministry and the vision as a whole. Father, so we thank you for it right now, Lord Jesus, that all of Jews is able to see what it is. Yes, write the vision in Jesus' name and make it plain. So when you do provide, provide it, so all of Judah will be able to run with it, Father God. We are the house of Judah. So Father, we bless you. And even every weaponry that we have and the building materials at the same time, Father God, as we move, Lord, that all builders, all of us, we're ready both to build and the battle, Father God. Equip us in the holy name of Jesus. Equip us in the holy name of Jesus and under the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that we have alarms, Lord, that are sounding off when there is an enemy in the camp. We have alarms that are sounding off when there's an enemy or whoop the sheep cold and coming near. Lord, let us be able to see that thing before it even comes near us. Let us be able to bind it up in the name of Jesus before it even comes near us. That's right. Sound the holy trumpets. Let there be alarm sounders on the wall, Lord. Lord, while we're building and warring at the same time. So, Father God, we thank you, Lord, that we are aware of the work to be done, Lord, that we have the ex effectiveness, Lord, and we are on our feet, Lord, that we see the distance that we are from each other. It does not matter, Lord. The kilometers that we are from each other, verse 19, it does not matter, Lord, that whether we are in Austin, whether we are in Cuero, whether we are in New York, where we are in California, where we are in Pennsylvania, where we are in Pasadena, where we are in Mexico, where we are in Japan, where we are in Thailand, where we are in Santiago, where we are in Guam, where we are in Vietnam, where we are 
are in India, where we are in Saudi Arabia, where we are in Egypt, where we are in Africa. It does not matter where we are in Israel that we build. And no matter the distance from where we are, from one another in the body of Christ, Lord, that we are moved, that extensions we are faring with our feet shod in the gospel of peace and walking in accordance to the things that you have stirred inside of us. It does not matter where we are. We are in Queens and we are building. Father God, so we thank you and we bless you in the holy name of Jesus. No matter where we are, I'm in Austin, Texas, baby. You are in Queens and we are building. We are revisiting the plans that God had gave us and the direction that we're walking in is based on the wisdom that we have now. It may not have worked then, but I know it will work now because we're operating in better wisdom. We're operating with tougher skin. We're operating in the things that God has called us to operate in. We're older. We're wiser. We're much mature. We ain't go we're not operating in childish things. We're not operating with childish motives. Pride is gone. That's been broken off of us because of the adversity we have been through. We know better, so we're doing better. So God, we bless you for that. We thank you, Lord. We bless you for that. We thank you, Lord. Lord, in verse 20, when we hear the trumpet in the holy name of Jesus, as we work at the same time, when we hear the trumpet, or we're rallying together in prayer. I heard the trumpet this morning. There's somebody else in the name of Jesus that is on their knees praying somewhere across this world. There are about a million people right now on their knees praying across this world of billions. There are people praying right now, praying for the plan of God to be directly downloaded into their spirit so they can walk in the things that God has commanded them to walk in. For my own church, as we build different areas of the ministry, as we move into new areas, new horizons, and we have enlarged our tent stakes, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that as we follow under the auspices of our pastor, as we follow under the careful guidance and prayerful um, wisdom of our pastor, and my church is sounding community church here in Austin, Texas, the pastor, Arthur L. Sneath, the second Lord Jesus, that you strengthen him and continue to guide him. And you pray the same thing over these other pastors. You pray the same thing over your church leaders. You pray the same thing over those that are also standing beside you, building and rebuilding, launching and relaunching, visiting plans that they haven't seen. When they come to you, let the Holy Spirit use you to be a, a, a voice of wisdom, to let them know, I'm building too. Let's pray together in the holy name of Jesus so that our building plans can be worked on and warred together. That we are combining our war efforts against the enemy who's not only trying to keep us in distraction, diversion, um, dissensions, whatever he bringing, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Bind it with our brothers and sisters that come to us and make us aware that they're building too. But we bless you for unity in the holy name of Jesus and this trumpet as it's being sounded when we hear those that are on the outside and we're not just talking about people that are not of the faith of Christianity because you have to understand <clears throat> that God used anything God used a donkey to stop blocking his track God will use anything God used a crow Jesus used a crow a rooster to remind Peter what he said so he can repent. So God will use anything, anything. He has the power to use anything. God will use a bush. He used a burning bush to get the attention of Moses. So he will use anything. There is nothing in this earth that's living that is not subject to the use of God. And let it be known that there isn't anything that the enemy cannot use as well to give you opposition, to bring you adversity. But you have to pray that thing away, and we are praying it away. But even if he does have permission, which is going to turn around for our good anyway, God, we bless you that the people being used, Lord, that we operate in your spirit, in love, and in kindness, and we point to them, Lord, where the peace of God is in their own hearts, so that can be stirred, that we point to them the areas where God has told them to rebuild, Lord, we're not casting aside our brothers and sisters that blindly are being used, Lord, but we're thanking you that you're removing the blinders and veil that the enemy have put over their eyes. 
eyes where they cannot see their own way. God, we bless you right now for it. In the holy name of Jesus, son of the living God, we understand, Father God, that there are ways, Lord Jesus, and walls of the enemy that we are to know and be wise in those ways, the strategy and the walls of the enemy. And at the same time that we are gentle as doves, God, we war in the spirit, Lord, like right now that whatever it is that we're building, Father God, that it is protected, that the direction that we need, Father God, is provided. And we hear it with clarity that our ears are open and attentive more so in the spirit. We're not on periscope just praying for things amiss, Lord, but we're on periscope so our ears, our spiritual ears, our spiritual eyes, and the word of the word of God are coming out our mouths, and we're able to see, hear, and speak. Speak the divine will of God in this hour when we pray, when we talk to other people, and as we build, let our hands be anointed to do the things that God has called us to do. God, we bless you, and we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord, according to verse 21 to 23, and we're almost finished with Nehemiah 4, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that as we labor, and while half of us, Lord, are holding the spears from the dawn, from dawn until the stars come out. We're holding spears right now until the dawn is starting up. We're on the name of Jesus. As we hold prayer, we are hosts to come against evil wickedness in high places, to come against the things that are trying to bind up the plans that God has for us. We command for fetters of holy fetters of iron to bind up the strategies, the demonic forces, to bind up infirmities. Jesus try to make us sick as we move forward in the things of God, we bind it up right now. We bind up headaches. We bind up lethargy in the name of Jesus. We bind up high blood pressure in the name of Jesus. And at the same time, while we binding it, Father, we thank you that when we go to the groceries, that you're directing our past and giving us the power to create wealth in our health by we buying produce, living food, live living food to put in our bodies so that we are able and better equipped to um, hear the word of God so our mind is not distracted. We don't have a lot of fat flow to our blood infecting plants on our hearts that makes it hard for us to breathe when we preach, breathe when we pray, breathe when we walk in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. The misdirection that we hear from our flesh to buy things that are not healthy for us, that keep us sick, that keep us hindered from doing your will. And when you say do something, Father God, we can't because our back hurt. We can't because as we move into it, the light from the computer give us headaches. We rebuke all of that in the name of Jesus. They're lying symptoms. Father, yes, detach it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that it's detached and it's cast back down to hell from which it comes. Every single thing that has come against us to prevent us from doing what it is that God has called us to do. We command it to detach itself from us. We speak to diabetes and we say, we rebuke you. We will not accept any generational curses of diabetes. We will only accept the generational blessings of walking in the will of God, of hearing God clearly, of seeing eyes, seeing eyes that see what Jesus see so we can reach others according to the will of God, the will of Jesus before he ascended into heaven and he said to preach the gospel throughout all the earth and to all the Gentiles. So God, we bless you in the name of Jesus. We honor you in the name of directed steps, Father God, are heard clearly and we have a new heart, a heart, Father God, yes, a heart that is quick to obey and is responsive to you, Father God. We don't need the old heart that moved in the old ways of when we had first when we, that's right, we bind this connection in the name of Jesus. We command every single demon that's assigned to the airways. We know that the devil is the prince of the air, but right now we command in the holy name of Jesus that every prince, every 
every demon, every demonic move of, of the devil and of Satan and the plans of the enemy that is trying to prevent others from coming in, that is freezing up their lives in the name of Jesus. We're going to build. We command you to be gone. We remove you from the line of communication where this prayer scope is coming out in the name of Jesus, Father, and we thank you. Any assignment of the enemy, we cut it loose in the name of Jesus. We cut it away from us in the name of the We will build. We will build and we will not tarry. We will build and walk in obedience according to the way that God has called us to walk. Even the assignment of you coming against this interscope. It worked for Erica Badu when she was in concert last night in Brooklyn. So it's going to work right now in the name of Jesus. It's going to work just as clear because we are the people of God and we're going to do whatever it is that God has called us to do. We're going to unite in prayer and as I walk in the obedience, God, I know that you will get the increase. So Father, we bless you and we thank you right now. I thank you for those hearts. Y'all pull, give me some love. Y'all show right now, Lord. Unfreeze in the name of Jesus. We bless you right now. Pour out the hearts. We bless you. Thank you so much for the hearts. God bless you. God bless you. I know I've sown so many hearts. In the name of Jesus, I know I'll receive them. In the name of Jesus, I want to be able to um, have my periscopes, my prayer scopes, to be able to reach those, Lord, who wouldn't otherwise, Father God, even be paying attention, Lord. They have plans and they see that building it anyway. And if that title alone attracts them, Father God, <clears throat> we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you that the title alone that you gave me, Father, will pull the men so that they can build. Will pull the men so that they can hear. Will pull the men so those that have an ear to hear can hear. Will pull the men. Yes, it's still working. Come back in. God bless you, Penny Jenkins. God bless you, KK. God bless you, Apostle. God bless y'all for coming back in. Stick with it. Then that's what we're talking about. You build. No matter what happens, let this serve as an example. God bless you, Favor 100, for coming back in. Let that be an example. No matter what comes against you as you get ready to rebuild, relaunch, and revisit the plans that God gave you 25 years ago, 30 years ago. I don't care if it was 35 years ago. God gave you the plans when you were 10 years old and you wrote them down and you kept them in the name of Jesus. Then you go and revisit them and walk in the wisdom that God has given you now. Walk in the wisdom. That's that's an example of adversity. That's an example of what to do. Go, go back into it. Go out and come back in. The opposition keep you from doing what it is that God has called you to do. You rebuild. You build. You move forward. In the name of Jesus, let those, the freezing uh, screens and, and periscope acting up, let that be an example that you see where you go out and you come back in. Pick up the plans that God has given you. According to Nehemiah 4, they rebuilt in the face of their enemies, in the face of opposition. They built it anyway. And the spirit of God was upon them. And the spirit of God stirred them all up. And at the same time, the enemy was stirring up opposition. The very first verse in this chapter, they say that when the leader of those that were outside the kingdom of God or the children of God, they were not children of God because they were not in obedience. They were not therefore children of God. Jesus said, if you love me, you obey my commands and I pull you into myself and call you my own. They were not of God. They did not believe in God. They were not worshipers of God. That's why they was opposing the building of the wall. But the very first, the very first verse in this chapter says, but when Sanballat heard, he heard that we were building the wall, he was angry and in a great rage and he ridiculed the Jews. So don't when when this when the technology ridicules you, that's okay. You go back out and come back in. It's okay when the people on the outside of you when your family members ridicule you cuz oh they remember when you first tried to do that and then your marriage fell. Oh they remember when you first tried to do that and then your kids started acting up or your children, your child, your son or your daughter went to jail or your daughter got pregnant or your son uh, was on drugs or whatever. When you first started to do it, you came under such great attack by the enemy that you became on drugs. You slipped into a fornicative relationship and had to start back.
back over again and you put aside those plans, revisit those plans, notice it for what it is, see it for what it is, call it for what it is, it is gone. Whatever the sin was, whatever it was that stopped you, whatever the attack was, be it an infirmity, cancer is gone and you are alive, so go back to those plans that God gave you before you even had cancer. Go back to those plans before you were attacked with a marriage that ended in divorce. Before he attacked you with your then husband that now that y'all are co-parenting. Go back and visit those plans. Just because the same people are not with you, you don't stop your plans. Steve Job, Job was um, fired, uh, uh, removed. From the whole organization of what he started building by the chairman, by his board of directors, that didn't stop his plans. He had cancer. That didn't stop his plans. He came right on back in building and kept building the things that God has given him. He encouraged so many other people to do things that nobody else had done, even in the face of ridicule. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. The black ministry is on point. Now I'm going to end right now because I believe it's 509 and it's time for me to get on the line and uh pray with Apostle Eckhart. I'm going to be praying and I know there's others that are praying. So you go ahead and follow Apostle Eckhart and you get on the line and pray too. But I just want you to be encouraged. We have prayed thoroughly. The all of uh Nehemiah 4 to build, rebuild, launch, relaunch, and do it anyway. Build it anyway, regardless. God bless you. God keep you. I am Minister Yolanda Gunter from out of Austin, Texas. My church home is South Austin Community Church, 4930 Austin, Texas, 78745. That's my church where my pastor is, none other than pastor and teacher, Arthur L. Sneath II. You can visit me online at YolandaGunter.com to see more about me and what I do, what my mission is, what, what I stand for. And you can also visit me or connect with me anywhere online. I am at Y-E-M Gunter everywhere on the internet. Everywhere across every social network, I am Y-E-M Gunter. Follow me on Twitter. Bless you. God bless you as you rebuild today. As you rebuild and you start back up. God bless you and have a blessed day. This